My Hero Academia, season seven, finally. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, he grew in the last couple days between seasons. Is Deku totally recovered? I mean, the, the last episode was so optimistic, but I feel like it's still gonna take time. So much happened. There's gotta be decompression. I'm back at UA, but... Nothing will ever be the same. Nothing will ever be the same after season six. Sometimes you have to kill a person in order to save them. Be sure to remember that. I think Deku will remember it, but I'm totally convinced of my theory that he has to save, save Shigaraki. I also think it's likely he saves all for one. Somehow, in some way that's thematically significant. Deku is on the pursuit of perfection. At the very least, though, Shigaraki. Hard to think of anyone who needs a hero more than he does. But I do love how much Deku took those this. words that's to heart true. in reflecting on them. And I get that the only way to stop him might be to kill him. Yeah, this. The final battle draws near. What is it, three days? But oddly enough, I'm not afraid. Together. We'll set things right. Is Aoyama still absent? Where is it? What is this guy doing? Wait, wait, I don't want to throw him under the bus. Oh, wait, is that him? Is that him in the, in the little corner over there? Hmm, where were you? This is the number one hero. People will smile again. This room, maybe society. And also America. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, wow. The anticipation and hype. Almost afraid to watch it. We're, we're drawing them bigger. We're drawing them adult, even though they're still freshmen. Yeah, there she is. I see some faces that I love. Yeah, Shigaraki continuing to be consumed. That very deliberate, that back-to-back -back of the two of them, Toga and Uraraka. And they're, of course, the most imp important character, Mineta. Oh, maybe, maybe it'll happen this season. Maybe this is it. That opening was a little bit of a slow burn, but it'll be a classic. I'm a big fan of the My Hero Academia openings as a whole. This just on first watch feels like a pretty solid addition. I will be <laughs> training to this song at some point is what I'm saying. This will be on my workout playlist. All of the world's problems are solved. America is here. What were we worried about? And why didn't we do this earlier? Deku borrowed the title of world's greatest hero for a little while. Their leaders are the infamous criminal All For One, sometimes known as the symbol of evil. It did take them a little bit too long to show up, though most of season 6 did take place in like two hours. And Tomura Shigaraki, the madman's assumed protege. Tomura Shigaraki mentioned. I'm just reporting on the current situation in Tokyo. This is not a great time must be dying to, see some bloodshed. to be about a reporter or a civilian. How did they know it was an international broadcast? <laughs> that was impressive. I guess he's speaking English. Even if there was trouble at home, okay. we could have the heroes back in the States in two hours. No sweat. You got that right. Ripped. Star. Star. Don't blame us if you get in trouble, Star. A break in protocol. We're talking about a direct request from All Might. If you're <laughs> All trouble, Might, higher than country. Damn right. In the nick of time, a big time maverick from the West. We're at a critical juncture. The police and heroes. Oh, not looking so big now in your little hole, your little cave. Wouldn't it be easier if we left the country? Perhaps. But it's not ideal. Especially since hiding is only a short-term issue. And then, of course, I must take control of one for all. This is not going to go over well. This is obviously going to cause major rifts. Very on the show's themes. And all this really carefully crafted setup of two polar friend groups. But both friend groups nonetheless. Maybe all for one's defining trait being the supreme selfishness in contrast to the, the virtues of the show. Leading this group sort of by default, it feels, momentum. But it's not a fit. It doesn't match spiritually. I have a long, intricate design for my future. My future. As you no doubt realized, I have many loyal friends around the globe. Good for you. If I tell my friends to run riot, countries will be forced to consider domestic safety before offering aid to others. Okay, this sort of explains my earlier question. If I can steal her quirk, there'll be no fight we can't win. Very curious about her quirk. Besides... Patriotism. Live up to your name and spin a story for us. <laughs> Why is it so condescending? There are many lurking in the shadows who sympathize with your plight. I was thinking while rewatching some of my season six reactions. It doesn't feel great to see society dissolving this way and some of the, the cowardice and weakness destruction that comes out of the sort of loss of faith in heroes amidst the carnage of season six, especially in comparison to this just like golden star that is Deku and other characters in the show. But basically any hatred or disgust I would have for the, the people, the characters, the opportunists has been dissipated by something like sympathy, I guess, because All Might and the hero society at large is mistaken. 
sake, as well-meaning as they were, was sort of this insulation of the public from the truth. Like, I will do everything by myself. I will take all the pain. You don't have to think about the danger. Look at the light. Don't look at the darkness. It's not your responsibility. It's mine. There's something very fragile about that. And I think the societal reaction was sort of like that vacuum being released. The floor was basically pulled out from everyone very rapidly, which of course creates just massive amounts of panic. So much of this is outside the scope of what most people have any influence over or control over, which is terrifying. And then anger often follows fear because it acts as a drive to do something. And if there's nothing you can tangibly do, you just pick targets. You point your finger at the thing closest to you. Then at the very least, you have something tangible to direct this flood of, of terrible feelings towards, which makes it feel somewhat more manageable as it has become more simplified, oversimplified. I've been thinking about this in real life, wondering if this isn't sort of the root behind a lot of a very particular sort of anger I see often, where it's like a very, very strong opinionated stance that often seems a little bit too reductive, coupled with a very high amount of negative emotion, like rage, to the point where it seems like it's dominating the hierarchy of what's important to people. Is it not, in a sense, a mental coping mechanism to give oneself a feeling of influence and control as a counter to what is probably the, the truth that you really don't know? There's certain things you can't affect, and the people you hate are not your enemies. The antithesis of this in real life, and I think in the show as well, being you do the best you can with what you have, you do your best to rise to to your own personal challenges and do the best that you can do in your sphere of influence without blame, without excuses, tirelessly, perhaps in service to others. It's also interesting to think about Spinner getting focus in light of Stain making a reappearance. Our hopes and dreams have not been quashed. The embers of liberation still burn around us. And that like the fact that Spinner is now an icon of his own. We must remember skeptic stirring words since he is still free to speak. That's what's so difficult and so great about the, the villains of the show. They've always had their points. Recruit new warriors to the cause. You'll find it easy to open the minds of those who live as you do. And on the note about the anger in society, the path to capitalizing on this is because everyone's in a state of despair and panic, you give them something they can do that makes them feel significant and in control. One of the greatest tools of manipulation is giving people a grand purpose. Make them feel like they actually have an impact on things. Redestro found hope in those deviants. Don't worry, Togo Uraka is coming for you. We will mold them into the real thing. Champion their names and deeds. There it is. We can't afford to waste time. Let's hey. As soon as she lands. Just seeing best genist weaving together the cobbled fragments of my heart. I've always wanted to chat with her about the prize denim popularized during America's gold rush. Important stuff. There's someone in her flight path. It's him. He's come out of hiding. N now? No. No, no. What? What? Already? To intercept. Such a warm welcome already. I was not expecting this to go down so quickly. This is unbelievable unreal does that mean you're the criminal known as all for one e yes and no who knows what i am yeah yeah interestingly to my theory of like shigaraki needs to be saved in a way that's hard to really pin down he's kind of been neutralized for me as the villain it's just all for one now which doesn't mean he's good now or isn't an insane threat it's just like the focus of what the enemy is has changed maybe it's just my love for shigaraki talking and it's not like shigaraki's ever done anything wrong you know what bad has he done lately, <laughs> this season? According to our intel, he can destroy whatever he gets his hands on. Hand on. You don't want to be here if you don't know what this is. Roger you're playing it. Your field is not it. It's not going to do anything. Engage or retreat. You know it's America! Time to smash! Damn right! Yeah, it's time to manifest this destiny. Fight with honor and I'll make sure you're to your loved ones. <laughs> I was just accepting their deaths. Uh, you're gonna die, but I will deliver your ashes. And yet, fight it. No doubt that I'm me as well. Okay, this may be more interesting and split than I thought. What is you at this point? I'm impressed they've lived this long. Whoever touches the other first wins, America. That powerful, huh? But I'm the best there is, because I'm still gonna beat your ass, boy. <laughs> Is this a tribute or an insult to America? I don't know how to feel. I mean, I do love it, if I'm being honest. Speaking of projecting my own powerlessness onto idols, I am Star right now. This is me. Because as we all know, what really makes your identity is the artificially drawn borders that we make around land. America mentioned. <laughs> I still need oxygen, I guess. Star and oh, please tell me. Quirk, new order. I've been so waiting for this. A 
out its name, she can impose a new rule on that person or thing. Whoa, it's like a game of kings, but deadly. And on air, no less. I need to hear that again. This, just on first glance, seems overpowered. What's the limit on this, though? Like, how abstract can you get? There's got to be a limit. Otherwise, she could just be like, in existence, there is no Shigaraki. Air already is so surprisingly abstract. This is going to go deep. I bet the lore around this is just intense. There's literature written about this somewhere. A lot of digital ink has likely been devoted to this. That's a brutal power. Yeah. Yeah. Her support item is like Jet Fleet. It's the best support item I've seen in the show so far, outside of All Might Spento. Reflect plus scatter. Okay. Laser! She neutralized the laser. Can be I like how she said that after she was holding it. No wonder Japan had trouble with him. You will soon find out. One at a time. I can only have two rules active at one time. Two, okay. The first I always use to strengthen and reinforce my body. Got it. And while it's impossible for me to power up to All Might's level, I try. Oh, what a tribute. My family was on our way to the Santa Monica Pier. Santa Monica Mansion. <laughs> and then... All Might was here. He was there. That's how he became my master. Man, what a level up. This is such a common story in the show with All Might. God, everyone feels so potently what a god among men he is. Except for All Might, who is struggling, and it hurts me. The ultimate Prometheus, giving the greatest fire to humanity and having his soul pecked out for eternity. In order to show my own personal devotion to peace, I copied his hairstyle. Don't <laughs> what does that have to do with peace? <laughs> If you're not copying All Might's hairstyle, can you even call yourself a hero? If Tomura Shigaraki makes a single move, his heart will stop beating. <gasps> whoa! Me. Whoa! Listen, we just I beat awakened. Shigaraki. That something's different. Just like that. Whoa! That's stunning. Also notable that you didn't just annihilate him. It should have taken a full two months of recuperation for you and me to become us. Yet here we are. You never cease to surprise, Tomura. That image very telling. It's not working? What's the issue? This is Tomura Shigaraki, isn't it? There's, well, you gotta say two names. May your anger and hatred be Oh crap, oh crap, I didn't think about this. She might have just unleashed what the? all for one. It all started in that little house. Don't remind me. Your godlike quirk has rules of its own. The number one hero in the USA, Star and Stripe. Also, I'm thinking, she said she always uses one of her two conditions supported by her body. That does seem to imply, and I think predict, that there's always that option there to sacrifice her invulnerability for a risky double external condition. Seems she can't impose a rule that also has an effect on something she hasn't physically touched. Or right. Maybe she can, but the effect is weaker? <laughs> I like how she got wrong. also confused. We, yeah, we do need this clarification, though. I'm 100% going to get it wrong at some point. Is there a two-target limit? What's the scope of the power? Would it work on an animal? <laughs> this is amazing. I have this irresistible urge to test out the scope of her abilities. I mean, you're just the audience, Shigaraki, my dude. It's fun. I mean, I had the same reaction to the first mention of her power. What are the limits of it? Did not think about controlling animals, though. For that matter, is it me or is it kind of adorable? The, the corgi was just at the tip of his brain. Shigaraki's a dog lover confirmed and therefore never did anything wrong in his life. New order and laser attacks don't work on that regenerating bastard. I am astonished that you were also alive. On the line. Did you just say Commander... Akbar? It's a trap! <laughs> the air hardens into my form, but a thousand times bigger! This oh, again, what are the limits? Damn! Wow, speaking of Avatar, because of the airbending, she became that thing from Korra. Oh, so much for not killing. Let me get some more lasers! <laughs> Put laser! Wow. It's amazing. What are the limits of this again? Star. Commander Akbar. I got too used to your Ak willfulness. Par? Head shape checks out. Admiral Akbar just across universes. It wouldn't be if your stubborn disregard for rules hadn't made our country shine brighter over the years. You must surpass him, Cassie. State of the art hypersonic intercontinental cruise missiles. <laughs> It's amazing. It's it's amazing. It's gonna feel like the full fist of America hit you. I don't know what I was expecting. It wasn't that, but it was amazing. So excited for a star. Very, very like exciting, high octane way to to launch this season. Riding that momentum that season six had, just absolute insanity. 
Yeah, okay. I also like where they're going with these images of young Shigaraki and also his musings this episode about where it all started. We gotta sort of go back there to save him, right? Something was built on top of that trauma that formed this. It has to come undone. Back to the source. Oh yeah, we also gotta get back to keeping up with the Todorokis. Deku Star also seems like a great team up just because, you know, both All Might protégés probably have a lot in common. Just so many ways. Wow. Also, given their similarities, I wonder what kind of insight we'll gain on, on Deku or what insight Deku will gain from interaction or an allegiance with Star. I find it really fitting that while obviously Star's powers are greater than All Might's now, the way it's framed is that she's living up to All Might, that she's honoring him, that she'll do as good as him, that it's repayment, which is testament to the way the show has been built in that the hero element is not the quirks, it's the character. I feel like this happens to me every season where I look forward to the show so much, but then even despite those sky hacks expectations, starting to watch the series again makes me feel like I've been asleep and I've now suddenly awoken. I'm alive again. <laughs> like, part of me has been dead. It has this magical effect on me that just transcends it as a show. It's like this mirror that lets you see perfection because you can't look at it directly in the eye. I know that's a lot to say about a TV show, but that's what it feels like. I'm really curious to see where season seven goes, given the fact that I feel in a way a lot of the show's really big themes that have been building since season one, episode one, have been made explicit. What is the next iteration of Hero Society? What will be the nature of Deku's interaction with Shigaraki and his interaction with All for One? What exactly is brewing with the spinner setup? What happens to the remaining members of the, the original League of Villains? Aside from that parallel of Deku Shigaraki, Uraraka, Toga. What's happening with the Todorokis? What are Ida's hands doing? What is Mineta up to? <laughs> so many burning questions. As a final random note to throw in here, you guys have no idea how much that phrasing of if you don't XYZ, can you even call yourself a hero, has dominated my psyche. That All Might Deku influence. The show executing the very hero ideals that it portrays. So that's season 7 episode 1. Crazy to think that like a year has passed basically. Very, very exciting to be back. Thank you to everybody for watching. I don't say this nearly enough. I hope you guys understand that this is always how I feel, even if I don't put this in videos. Thank you to all my patrons for the support, making these videos possible. Very, very long overdue. It's basically summer, it's 107 degrees, and my outro is still snow. Shout out to those who joined the top tier on Patreon. Kirkland Patterson, Solomon Wraith, Dante Drago, Will Thiessen, Erratic Artifact, almost said Erotic Artifact, Kane Stone, New User, Olivia, Mr. Sirlance, Moshi, and Osed Siofi. Thank you to everybody for watching. See you weekly.